Konnichiwa. Mike does. Alright, I got a response and I got here to uh, Bulletproof Kevlar has asked um, what is your favorite Japanese live action movie? Alright, so I got tagged. Uh, as I told him, I'm not just going to do one. No. Alright. First one up. Sukiyaki Western Jingo. It's not in Japanese, but they're all Japanese cast. I personally think they did a phenomenal job on speaking English in this. Uh, their stories just basically the story. Yeah, you see me looking. Um, I did watch it a couple times uh, before I actually got the uh, Hong Kong. Actually, I got the Hong Kong one. Then I got the one that finally came to the States, so everyone in the States can get it. Uh, I think it's worldwide now. You can get the movie. But it's kind of like an offbeat movie. It's kind of like an action. It's got a little comedy there. Basically, two gangs are against each other. It's a western. If you haven't noticed, it said western. Um... Like, kind of like, um, like the old, um, movies, I can't think of his name right now, um, Clint Eastwood type of stuff. Uh, Quentin Tarantino is in, is in this, he stars in the beginning, and the funny thing, Quentin Tarantino has to get subtitles. I find that hysterical, because... He's from America, and the uh, Japanese guy's just like, I don't understand you. What are you saying? It, it's just funny. <laughs> but apparently these two gangs go at it, uh, fighting over territory. Like your average Western, just with Japanese, uh, uber obscene, you know, like guns. Like, there's a couple parts where people just get blown to smithereens, it's not gory, it's like extremely gory, but, um, I guess when it starts, it's, uh, over gold, and there's this kid that was born from, uh, this guy that basically took off from one of the gangs, it's like, I, I want to settle down, marries the other gangs, um, girl that's part of their family and they bo both take off so they have a family the kid gets born uh, they come back they're like screw this we're gonna take over we want the gold oh we see you have a job we're gonna kill you and it, it's one of those movies you have to watch it's hard to explain without spoiling all right Next one up. Um, right here. Let's see if you see that. The Roll. Excellent movie. It's uh, about this. Um, it starts off with this guy. Uh, he's about to have a newborn child. A child. And he sees this um, realm where this demon can grant him wishes, superpowers. So it's kind of like a sci-fi action, not so much horror, but um, Demon says, want well, know something? You want this? You want to be known throughout history? You, you want it? All right. Your firstborn child. We have to cut it into. We cut your child up into 27 pieces. I think it's 27 pieces. I could be wrong. Uh, and. He gets granted this. He's like, fine, I'll do it. You know, he did hesitate, but, you know, he's like, I want power. Didn't think of the welfare of the child. So the child gets uh, dealt with, but is still alive, which is the sadistic part of this. And the mother 
wraps it up, wraps the baby up, puts it in a basket, goes down the river, gets found by this guy. Uh, he's fishing and sees this baby like all mangled. No eyes, no nothing. Just like a body, lifeless body, no limbs. So he happens to be working on, you know, helping animals out and he rigs something like kind of like a Frankenstein bit. And he manages to get parts for it. But the only thing with the parts, they're attached to a demon. The only way he can get his part off whenever he fights, uh, kill the demon, then he gets that body part back. So he kills the demon, body part falls off. There's intense fights. I probably watched this like twice. Um, It's really sadistic, but it's a great movie. He also meets this uh, girl that's playing a guy. You know, she is really a, a girl in the movie, but, you know, she can't earn much money without, you know, settling herself or, you know, being, you know, a housewife. So she takes off trying to earn money for herself and get redemption of her family. So they meet up. And he seek the quest, and you know, everything gets turned around. He's well, almost turned around. There's supposed to be a second one. If anyone knows about it, let me know because I've been looking all over for it. And I showed one of my Filipino friends, and she loves it, and she wants to know about it, you know. So I've been looking all over the internet, but let me know. But, alright, the final one is The Neighbor, number 13, horror movie. This, by far, is one of my favorite Japanese movies in the horror gender, or of all time. Let's see if I can show you a picture. I would go into um, Power Director, but... It's right here. It's good photo. Uh, let's turn this around. Alright. Try not to get much glare in it. Alright. This movie is about the guy on the right hand side. Uh, he gets bullied all his life. And later on in life, like uh, about like 10 years later, uh, he starts working contracting, earning money. And turns out that the bully that bullied him, like, beat the hell out of him, this and that, uh, pushed him so much to turn into this guy right here, uh, which is his alter ego that's pretty much sadistic, and he's like, screw this, I'm gonna kill whoever fucks with you. And, you know, and he's, it's basically, he's sadistic. And it also stars uh, one of the girls from Puffy Ami Yumi. Uh, forewarning you, don't expect, you know, kawaii in there, any cuteness from her. Like, she's great. I guess this is one of her first acting gigs. But <laughs> you won't expect what she does in this. Um, basically the guy crumbles under pressure, and if you see what it says, they compare it to Fight Club meets Seven, if you know Seven, uh, a great movie, but the movie itself, he gets right back at the bully, because he pulls himself, pushes him so hard, like, he becomes so sadistic that he, I'm trying not to give away, it's one of those movies you have to watch. i watched this about three, four times. It's amazing film. Amazing. I would have the DVD case, but, let's turn back to me. Uh, I would have the DVD case, but I happen I don't have the DVD because I'm selling off a lot of my stuff. Um, as you guys know, I'm leaving. But, alright, 
I'll have to cut it now. Uh, take care.